blessed when I can't tell you, I, I never thought somehow that this day would arrive when I could actually come here to Middlepool. So, John, what are we doing at Middlepool? Well, we're here because this is the celebration of the raising of all the money to restore Middlepool for the pottery, restore the buildings, turn part of it into a centre for new um, business entrepreneurs to establish their offices from. None of it, I guarantee, would have been possible without some wonderful private donors and sponsors. And for that I owe John Caldwell, uh, who's a son of Stoke He used to paddle up and down the canal. What a lot. He has been absolutely marvellous in, in, in lending, giving his support in such a, a wonderful way. Because he's remained so faithful to his hometown, to the people here. So, well, I'm enormously grateful. And also, uh, in addition, to provide a really um, regenerated premises for Burley Pottery Ware, one of the old Stoke on Trent brands and a very beautiful blue and white pottery. So what have you learned today? Oh, it's been fascinating because we've gone all the way around the factory and looked at all the old processes, which includes right the way through from the making of the plates to the putting on of the transfers. And it, the fascinating thing is it's all so old. It takes me back to when I was a boy, went around the potteries and saw very similar processes being in place. Can you tell us what he talked to the Prince about? Oh, he was just uh, showing his gratitude, expressing his gratitude for the donation that I've, that I've made, which uh, enabled the project to go ahead. Yeah, Is this representative of the philanthropic type of work you want to be doing? No, not exactly, because most of my philanthropic work is definitely aimed at people who are sick, mainly children, and really saving lives and dramatically improving lives. This is much more on the fringes because it's to do with preserving buildings and preserving industry, but also preserving jobs. So it's still, it's very worthy and it's very, uh, I'm very pleased to be supporting it, but it's not the mainstream of my charitable work. It's because it's one of our jobs, it's one of our tigers. Yeah. Are you shocked or disappointed as to how Burslem has really fallen off a cliff? I, I think it's quite natural that Stoke-on-Trent would suffer in the way it has because all of our traditional industries have been affected. We were a steel industry, we were mining and we were potteries and all three of those all but disappeared. So of course the potteries suffered an enormous uh, reduction in commercial opportunity uh, and in fact you know, one of the replacements for that was the call centre that I introduced to Stoke-on-Trent with my single point mobile phone business and created thousands of jobs to try and replace those that the miners have lost that the steel workers have lost and of course that the pottery industry lost. Do you think there's a, a future for those skills in the pottery industry? Not, well in answer to that there is a place for the skills but it has to be a more of an, in a niche environment um, and those skills in a niche environment, I'm sure, can be prosper, can prosper and produce businesses that are serious commercial businesses for the future. And, and I'm hoping very much that the pottery that is going to be based here, Burley, is going to be one of those.